some people who believe in Zionism, they want a, sec a third temple built in Jerusalem so that Jesus can come and set up some earthly kingdom and take them away so they go and live in heaven while Israel operates on earth. You know, yeah, such a deceptive belief system, but that's what they believe. And they believe in animal sacrifices being set up again for the Jewish people to bring the world into meeting with God through sacrifices. I mean, it's ridiculous, but they're trapped into that deception through through eschatology, really. Um, and it's this huge deception, but they believe it. Yeah, which is like, how, how can you read the book of Hebrews and think you're going to set up animal sacrifices again when Jesus was the one sacrifice for all time? Yeah. But they do. They still believe it because they're conditioned by a hugely deceptive system that's tied to a huge Luciferian agenda to try and bring a counterfeit kingdom in the world. Well, it won't succeed, but it is fooling a lot of people. Now, a lot of people are deceived into believing that and therefore not living in the reality of what the truth is. You know, um, and are living much less than kind of lies because of that, sadly. If you see when David established the Ark of the Covenant in the presence of all the people and they all danced and sang around God's presence, the tabernacle of David, that was what God always intended. But it was man who decided to put God within a tabernacle. Now, you could say, well, that was the pattern of a heavenly tabernacle. Yeah, but in heaven, it was open. God's presence was open. It wasn't closed. Um, but in, in their earthly sense, they then built all of these things in a system that God allowed them to do as God allowed them to have a king. But he didn't want them to have a king. He didn't want them to have sacrifices and offerings and it's what it says in hebrews sacrifices and offerings are never intended and the prophets started to bring that revelation that god never intended this system but they didn't listen so they kept on following the old covenant system rather than embracing the new covenant which was going to come where they would have a new spirit and a new heart and life would be brought back to them but obviously they set up a whole system which was a religion so they set up their own religion, Judaism. God never intended them to have a religion. God wanted them to have a relationship with him. But they were only able to do that through the mediation system that they set up. And yeah, there are parallels in some of the festivals and all those things that are fulfilled in Jesus. So I'm not saying that God didn't, in some senses metaphorically use those uh, wave offerings and pentecost offerings and all the different you know sacrifices and systems they had and didn't use them to say well jesus is going to be the fulfillment this is just types and shadows that you've created but the reality is coming you know so god uses the illustrations of the things that they did to help them see that jesus was coming to fulfill it doesn't mean that he intended it you know, and I don't think he ever intended it. Um, wow. Which is, I think, what Hebrews says. You know, Hebrews very clearly says that sacrifices and offerings, I didn't want. Yeah. So where did wow. they come from? Well, from Moses, who developed a system to try and enable them to stay within the boundaries of God's protection. But they still walked out of it time and time again. So God wanted them to have a relationship and everything would come through that relationship, which is the Ten Commandments. You know, the Ten Commandments really aren't commandments. The Ten Commandments are opportunities. You know, if, you, if you're in relationship and I'm your only God, then you won't need to commit adultery because I'll give you a wife. You won't need to steal because I'll provide for you. You won't need, you won't need, you won't need because this is all within this relationship that I want you to have. My provision and protection is within this relationship. But they unfortunately didn't see it in relationship. They saw it in a religious system that they developed. 
But yeah, it's it's a difficult one because we've sort of been so conditioned into thinking everything in the Old Testament is what God wanted. Because that's evangelicalism and sola scriptura. Well, you know, God wanted all these things. God did all these things. You know, and I don't believe he did. Um, you know, I don't believe God did flood the earth and kill everybody. I believe the earth almost said, well, I'm going to cleanse myself. I'm going to cleanse this land because it's polluted with wickedness continually, which is what it says in Genesis 6. What God did was give them the ark. So no matter, no matter what God, what man has done, God has always provided us a way of salvation through it, out of it. Ah. So God provided the ark. The fountains of the deep broke open. The canopy around the earth flooded in. That was the consequence of the wickedness they were living and the fact that they weren't mostly human because they'd mixed their genetic material. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.